Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Wildly Katie and today, as you can see, we have another video for my musical series. This is Jack Scott development character developing part two, whatever the first one was called, I can't remember. So before we begin, please like, subscribe, comment down below and let's get started. <laughs> playlist I recommend you do so now so you can get caught up to speed and if you have seen all the recaps of musical and you haven't seen the first part of developing my character Jack Scott I also recommend doing that now so hopefully everyone has clicked off if they haven't caught up to speed and if you have caught up to speed thank you so much we shall continue so this is part two of developing jack scott my character that i am playing in my dream high school musical ever um and yeah so i have spent about the last 45 minutes learning a specific line just because I thought it would be really easy to remember and it is. Uh, before I even started remembering this line, I looked up a video that could help me learn my lines because I am kind of struggling on remembering them because I have mentioned this before, my character, when they speak, they have paragraphs that they have to say. Whereas Troy, Gabriella, all those other characters only have like a sentence to say because they bounce off each other. Whereas my character, yes, has a bit of interaction with other characters, but it's only Coach, Darbus and Kelsey. However, Kelsey is right at the end of the show, plus a bit of snippets in the show, but not actually speaking. Um, and Coach and Darbus, they hand me notes. So I guess that's really all the interaction I have. Um, so one of the videos that I watched was saying a specific line over and over and over again with someone to like bounce off basically. However, I don't have that. And what they said was to do it in 45 seconds. So however many you can get that out in 45 seconds so basically if i were to set a 40 second timer sorry this is not very good i would set a 40 set 45 second timer and i will say my i'll say a random line so I'll say a random line and I just keep saying that over and over and over again until the timer goes off. Hey babe, I really dig your music. 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 So I want to say I said that about 13 times in 45 seconds, which is really good. And as I was doing that, I kind of, 
you may have noticed it ever so slightly. I wasn't trying to, but I kind of played around with it each time. It's like, hey babe, I really dig your music. Or it's like, hey babe, I really dig your music. So you just do that with every single line you have and you do that as much as you can. And then the ones that you notice that you really struggle with, um, you work on it again, sort of thing. So that's not the line that I've been practicing at all. But the line that I have been practicing is this. <clears throat> Hang on, let me get a drink. So, the lines that I have been working on is, Hey Wildcat, just a reminder that the Science Decathlon and the Basketball Championship game both start tomorrow at 3 p.m. So don't be late, baby. Come on out and support your Miss Albus walks in. But wait, it looks like we have a late breaking Wildcat news flash. The callbacks for Juliet and Romeo will start. Okay, trust me, when I was doing this before, I had no mistakes. What is going on? Let's restart, reframe, pick a spot on the wall, go. Hey all you crazy wildcats, just a reminder that the school decathlon and the basketball championship game will both start tomorrow at 3 p.m. So don't be late, baby. Come on out and support your... But wait, it looks like we have a late breaking wildcat news flash. The callbacks for Juliet and Romeo have been moved up to tomorrow at 3 p.m. Hey, but wait, Miss Darvis, you can't. That's the same time as... Sorry, Troy. This is Jack Scott signing off. So then I played around with some of the words. Um, particularly I played around with the callbacks for Juliet and Romeo have been moved up to tomorrow at 3 p.m. Or, um, hey, but wait, Miss Darvis, you can't. That's the same time as or sorry Troy this is Jack Scott signing off um I would probably do that however I feel I can vibe the director wanting a sorry Troy this is Jack Scott signing off um over and out but I'm like just playing around with it seeing what I like and I like it I have another who knows how many to learn, but I am getting there, which I am super proud with. Um, so let me just go through all my lines, no matter what, if I stuff up or not. Another water break. Radio. From the very tip of the top. I just do all the lines that I know. I know I'm missing lines every now and then, but whatever. Yo, 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 Wildcats, listen up for the very first money announcements of the brand new year. This is Jack Scott, the Velvet Fog of East High with Homeroom 411 on what's going down and coming up this week. The Science Decathlon finals are on Friday. See Taylor, Learning Curves, McKessie for more skinny on the hooey. During free period, the Science Club will meet in room 213 and then switch midway with the AV Club in room 312. For the next two and a half sessions and then reverse and alternate their schedules for the second half of winter quarter of the second half of winter quarter the skydiving club will be meeting at the roof uh, will be the skydiving club will be meeting at 3 p.m on the roof deck and the first aid club will be waiting for them down in the parking lot below. This is all for now. It's all for now, peeps. No fun. 
attention to sturdy stomp. A nauseous freshman has just shared his pancakes all over the third floor corridor. We're talking major spewage approach, so watch out for. It looks like. Sorry, peeps. Sorry, peeps. This just in. Please remember to sign up for the school musicale Juliet and Romeo by Red Hot Composer Babe. Kelsey Nielsen. Until later, this is Jack Scott, the Velvet Frog of East High. Hey Wildcats, it's request time again and this one goes out from Vice Principal, insert our Vice Principal's name, I won't be sharing that, to the person who took out the air of her tyres. It seems we have another request that goes something like this. <coughs> Troy Bolton. No. Troy Bolton, get your butts to basketball practice on the double or you are grounded for a week. Later, peeps. Hey, Wildcats. It's time to kiss today goodbye and point me towards detention. So all you evil dozers better get your butts to the theatre immediately or face the wrath of Darbus the Merciless. This is Jack Scott signing off. Fun. I can't remember all of it, but I love it. Hey peeps, welcome back to another train run of a school day. Um, I, I don't know what's next, but that's the only bit I remember, so it's pretty good. And then there's something about um the auditions for Julia um and Romeo because I have to say Shakespeare words and I don't want to say Shakespeare words because I don't understand them um and then I think that's the last one for act one and then I come on act two I'm opening act two which is scary as because we start as soon as I'm on stage, which is crazy. <laughs> so crazy. Uh, and they want me running on stage, like running to my spot. But I don't know how that's going to go because the door, how it opens and then there's a ladder. There's not much room to run. So I'm going to talk to someone. Um, I'll wait until we have like not a dress rehearsal because that's literally the week of um but you know whatever i think my next one is hey all you crazy wildcats just a reminder that the science decathlon and the basketball championship game both start tomorrow at 3 p.m so don't be late baby come on out and support your and then that was... Mm. But wait, it looks like we have a late-breaking wildcat news flash. The callbacks for Juliet and Romeo have been moved up to tomorrow at 3 p.m. Hey, but wait, Miss Darbus, you can't. That's the same time as... Sorry, Troy. This is Jack Scott signing off over and out. Um, I know after that there's a bit of dialogue, and then later on there is I'm announcing everything. Um, that the science decathlon is on the second floor lab. The auditions are in the theatre and the wild, the basketball championship game is in the gym. Team leading by Troy Bolton. Um, I forgot to lines as they are said during Bob to the top. Um, and then I say, well, folks, it seems we have a problem with the lights. Until we fix it or pay the electrical bills. 
please make an orderly fashion exit out of the gym to the theater immediately. Um, then later on, it's like, there's something about the game, the points are down, and then I have my little interaction with Kelsey. But speaking interaction, but other, like there's other parts that I interact with Kelsey, but not speaking. And it's like, hey babe, I really dig your music. She says something about my voice and it's like, really, you like it? Um, and then we hook, which is really cool because now I don't think it's gonna be so awkward because when there was me and you routine, I mentioned this in recap 6.2 um, about it. And we basically like, I I go like that and it's like, they're hugging me. And it's like, oh my gosh, I've never been, never been hugged like that in my life. And it's like so cool, but whatever. I love it. <laughs> I can't wait for you to see the show. Well, obviously you won't see the show because this will be out like literally two weeks after the show with how the videos are coming out. Um, but if you see it, if you see it, hello, Hotel Daffodil. I feel it in my waters. You know who I'm referring to. I hope you liked it and you understand what I'm saying in all my videos. I don't know. <laughs> I love that. But whatever. Um, I'm blabbering on. My iPad has, is about to die. So I've got to go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, comment down below. And I shall see you in my next video for this which should be recap 7.1 so yeah bye for now